All right, welcome to video number six of the Linux command series. Um, in this video, I'm going to go over the uname command, hostname command, clear command, date command, hardware clock command, and the calendar command. So there's a bunch of commands. They're all uh, very, uh, you know, short and there's no need to make multiple videos for these so we're gonna start off with the uname command uh, when you just do uname by itself it's gonna give you the kernel name which obviously uh, you know I'm running Linux and this is about Linux so it's gonna have the Linux kernel um, a more useful uh, option with that command is uname a which that is going to give you a ton of information um, and um, I'll be honest I had to actually look I'm looking at a Red Hat book to know exactly every single thing for this but um, right here that's your again the kernel this is your host name of your machine um, this is the kernel version uh, Yeah, along with that. Um, this is going to be the date and time, obviously. And then this, these over here, like, they all look the same. Uh, but that's, that's, I mean, they all are, are the same. But uh, they do stand for different things. So the first one is um, the machine, or the uh, machine hardware name. The second one is the processor type. Which is, uh, these are, you know, 64-bit, 64-bit. And the very last one is the hardware platform. And then um, this last one is qualified as the operating system name, GNU Linux. Um, there are several flags with this. If you just look in the man page, which I'm not going to look at right now, but you can do a dash S N R V M P I O. Um, and that will show these, like, you know, in different, you know, each one does. Um, you know, so you name dash s is the kernel name. You name dash n is the host name, and you can keep going on and on. But see, it will subdivide it into each different thing. So if you if you look up the man pages, you can tell which one what it each one does. Um, the next command host name very uh, simple. It, it gives you your host name of your machine. Um, Sometimes it will not, you know, depending on your version of Linux or your distro, um, it's not going to give you the full qualified name, uh, domain name with this. So you could do hostname f to do that. Um, clear command clears out your uh, bash shell, which is very, <laughs> very, very basic. Date command gives you the date. Um, there are different flags. Um, you can you can set this um, you know set whatever you want you know want the system date and time to be um, by just doing a date dash uh, dash dash set and then putting it in parentheses what you want um, I'm not going to change that here um, the next one is hardware clock which is HW clock um, I believe I need to be root to do this so yeah So if we do HW clock, that is going to give you the um, at, you know time on your hardware clock, um, which could possibly be different from the system time. Um, so that is that, and then the very last command is the cal command, and that just simply shows the date, um, you know, on a nice little uh, somewhat graphical calendar within the command prompt so yep this is uh, just a bunch of simple commands the uname command was the most complex out of all these um, again we're just running through basic commands um, that some of them will be more useful than others obviously so uh, watch some of my previous videos if you learned something here and uh, there's gonna be more future videos to explain more commands